Hello everyone, it's me, Maya, and welcome to my channel. I'm sure most of you know the age-old adage, don't judge a book by its cover, and how you're not supposed to judge books solely on their covers. Wait, I think that's a metaphor for not judging people on the way they look. Hmm. Well, anyway, I think we all know that when picking a book, 95% of the choice is the cover, and in some cases, it's okay to judge a book by its cover. And today, if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to be showing you 10 of my favorite book covers, in no particular order. The first one is from Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foyer. I hope I said his name right. So here is the cover. And I think this cover is so powerful, and this little boy's blue eyes and how he's covering his face, it really draws you in to the emotions of the book and what's going on. And I'm going to try my best not to talk too much about each book. I know I can go on and on and on, so let's see if I can be succinct. The next cover is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. And look how ornate and fantastic fantastic this looks the detail of the girl looking over the, the shoulder I love the looking over the shoulder and her red hair and the petticoat I think it is or like the little cinching in thing I just think it's so cool how epic she looks and how I know this girl has a secret and she has something that she wants to discover this next book is Tempest by Julie Cross, and I think this is one of my favorite covers because it's the most epic looking, how the guy is reaching for the girl, and you can tell that he's going to try to save her or do something, and of course there's going to be a storm involved. I like how the cover plays a lot of part in what the book may be about, or foreshadows what you might be getting yourself into, so I love books like, uh, covers like that, so I have little hints along the way. The next book is Catherine Called Birdie by Karen Cushman, and I'm really getting the covering close so you can see it. I love this cover because it's, you don't immediately understand what's going on, but if you see in her hand she's holding a system that may eventually drop a bucket of water on this un for seeing Suter. I just think it's so cool because of how Catherine is as a character and she is not fit to be married and she does not want to be married. And she's just like, look, I'm going to do whatever I can to get these suitors out of my face. <laughs> the next is Kathy's book. And I did know the author because I had to do it for another video. But I don't know it now because it's not written on the page but I think I really like this cover because it's set up like a journal so it has like the key bow and this all this other stuff I love this part of all the certificates and I think this is a death certificate all of the details that are used in the cover and the sketch on the front of the girl it's like oh my god this is so cool so I really love all of this The next book is By Midnight by, by Mia James. Look at this. Look at the stare of the girl and the creepiness of the house in the background and the moon. Just like, what is going on here? And we can really see that it's just so mysterious. And I'm pretty sure it was the cover that drew me into the story. I'm like, okay, I gotta get this. This looks cool. The next book is Boomerang by Noelle August. This book I like a lot because it's so whimsical and you have the upside down people and you, I guess it kind of like hints to how the relationship between the girl and the boy are turned upside down. I just think it's cute and how, I don't know, it's just like, what are they going to get into and what is the story and why are they upside down? 
Next book is The Half-Life of Stars by Louise Wiener. I just think this cover is so cool because she's standing on a car looking off into the distance, probably looking towards her future or some sort of adventure. I really like how the character, you can kind of see that the character is about to do something big. The next one is The Pink Ghetto by Liz Ira. And if you can see this, I hope you can see this, uh, she is at a business meeting and all these stuffy suits and all these other people and she is in her pink suit and her pink fuzzy slippers and her pink purse. So uh, I like how the cover art sets the main character apart and it's just cute and look, I may be going into the business world but I'm going to be me. Um, the next three are I'm going to show you together because it's the three in a series, and these count as one. So these are the Peter and the Star Catcher series by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. So we have which is the first the first one. The first one is this one, and I find this so unbelievably epic. You can see the Mr. Peter in the sky, and I love this because I never usually take the dust jackets off, but I saw another video where they took the dust jackets, so I'm like, now I want to see if my books have anything extra under the dust jackets, and mine does. <laughs> so this one, they have a, uh, a smaller version of the cover, and I'm going to be honest, I think I like this cover better than the big picture, and also on the inside you have um, an epic drawing of books, uh, not books, an epic drawing of a uh, sea, storm, and that's a main, that plays a big role in the book. And even on the back, they have also illustrations of other parts of the story, and <laughs> they did the drawings themselves, or someone did the drawings, excuse me. Uh, next is the Peter and the Shadow Thieves. I'm just like, look at the creepy creature and what is what is the role that this character is going to play and what's going to happen. I just thought it's so cool. And then also there's other drawings on the back and on the side. So I love it. The last one is this, Peter and the Secret of Rundine. I know we're not supposed to, but I hope you judged well on these books and you have enjoyed a lot of these covers and maybe has it even inspired you to look up some of these books. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have been uh, taken in by the covers and I hope that you will have a wonderful, fantastic, awesome day. I'll see you next time. Bye!